Lake Shore well. What do we do before we fish? Huh? We fill up. Hey, we, we eat. We eat. Bill's bagel sandwiches. Bill, real quick. How many how many shots do you have? Uh we have three coffee houses and three flower shops. And the flower shop. But your coffee shops are in Clear Lake. Clark. And Keith. We're here in Keith. Guys, I'm telling you, check your friends and check out. They all could see. Nice seeing you. Yes, sir. Happy fishing. Yeah, thank you. And before we get out, we're gonna fill up. And guys, if you're in the area of Keith Clear Lake or Lamar, check out our coffee. Hey, there's a for all kinds of coffee. Let's see how we go. Alicia Corbell, we were back in Galveston, Texas. We were headed to Bait Daddy's. Donnie's got it going on down there again after uh, the fire that they had. They're rebuilt, they're uh, selling bait again. We're gonna go down there and talk to Donnie, see what they got going on. And then guys, we're gonna head to Galveston State Park and check out the kayakers down there. So y'all come join us on Where's the Fish? More to come. Check out what he's got going on with the bait. What's up, brother? You doing all right? Yes, sir. How you doing? Doing good, man. Doing good. What do we got going on in here now? Okay. So what we got is a very complex. How, no, I'm just joking. We got a. <laughs> you know, we, we got a bait system. We got a. We we hold uh, a 27 foot long tank. We hold. You know, we hold up to 250 300 pounds of live poker, uh, all thing of mullet, everything we want. Um, you know, we keep a pretty good clean closed system, uh, water's really good, perfect salinity, uh, really clear, really cold, take, feel free to take a look. Um, so what bait are you serving now? What bait are you going to be, you gonna be what, offering for the fishermen? Pitch, pitch? Everything live we can get our hands on. So obviously shrimp, live shrimp, uh, we do croaker when croaker in season, they're kind of getting towards the tail end, you know, a little bit. Um, finger mullet, mud minnows, uh, pinfish when I get my hands on them, you know, things like that. Um, that's live bait. As far as dead bait, we've got plenty of uh, different assortment of dead bait. Squid, mullet for the surf, shad, uh, blue crab, stingray, you know, whatever else. So you're going to cater not only just in, inshore, but offshore also. Yes, 100%. Offshore as well. Um, and, you know, if there's anything that we get in bulk sometimes, uh, if people are looking to go offshore and want to get some stuff, they want to call us, give us a little heads up, a couple days. If they're looking for anything particular, we might be able to track it down. No guarantees, but we can try it. Awesome. Yeah. Man. Awesome. Man. Hey, welcome back, man. It's been a it's long, been a long nine months. Yeah. It was nine months. So December seventeenth, the, the accident, and then last weekend was our first weekend back open. Yeah. This, so this place, is week two. It looks awesome. I well, mean, it really it. looks nice. Yeah. And, it's uh, been a long time coming. Maybe it was so, a blessing in disguise. You yeah. Know, yeah. From those things. Yeah. You got you, you. You can get your you get your feet wet. You get you know back and you're you're going. Not really an off season, but we're getting into fall. Right. Uh. So you know you. People get to know where you're at again, and here we go. That's the, that's the main thing is consistency. People, you know, how, how many people over the last week have come in and said, oh, we didn't know you were back open, you know? So just people seeing us with the doors open is everything. Even if we yeah. didn't have anything to offer, us having the doors open it was just a huge victory. Yeah. In we didn't even recognize the place when we drove it's by because I remember it yeah. just about a year ago or two years ago, whenever it was, and I was like, yeah. Sure that's it? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Hey, man, good luck. Hey, I appreciate good seeing it. you again. Yeah, for Alicia sure. Corville. <laughs> you know, that's what we like to see, bait shop. Let's go upstairs to see what they got cooking upstairs. Alicia Corville, get your wallet out. We're going in.
Good morning. How are you doing? Yeah, you look, you look good on the other side of that counter. Oh, yeah, finally. It's been about so, nine. are you excited? Yes, finally. But are you after, wore out? Yes, after nine months, I'm, I'm ready though. Oh, uh, no, it's been a it journey. looks amazing. I told Thank Alicia you. when we drove by, we didn't even recognize the place. It has a woman's touch to it. It's I nice. guess so. And it smells good. And she's got the gray, Alicia. She's got the gray. Alicia, yes. love. We're fixing to do our outside a little gray. Oh, are you? So what all do we have in here? What's going on? What, what everything you sell? Tackle? What You got ice? So we have ice downstairs. We have all of our cut bait and dead bait are here. We also have some here. We have our bag bait here. We have our stingray mullet, croaker, chicken neck, some crab. And then we have all of our, ta our artificials and our tackles over here. And then we have buckets, fishing poles. Uh, we also have our line cutters, our nets, and then a little bit. Of, we also have versus stakes, which are what's which is real. We're coming handy on the yes, beach. Yes, yes. So when we get a lot, we get a lot of uh, people from out of town. So that's great. And then over here, we just have just a little bit of apparel, hats, drinks, and just some snacks. I love it. Thank you. Man, yeah. it looks nice. Thank you. We, I've been, we've been working really hard in here. No What's, AC all summer. Working hard trying to get it together. What are your hours? So right now our hours are Monday through Thursday, 6.30 to 6.30, and then um, Friday, Saturday, Sundays, 5.30 to 6.30. But on the weekends, usually we'll keep our gates open until about 7, 7.30. Yeah. So hey, you got you come in. Me. Come on. Yeah. We're ready. We'll, right. we'll take you. So. Yeah. Awesome. Website. You got a website. You we got a... do. It's not completely finished yet, uh, but we have Facebook and Instagram. So What's the Facebook? Is our it Facebook Daddies? is just at Bait Daddies, Bait and uh, Instagram is the same. And what about a phone number? You got a phone number yes. people can call? For... I do. Oh, hold on. Oh, the phone ready? number is? 409-632-7156. There you go, guys. Get on the phone. Get over here to Bait Daddies. They're open, ready to serve. Let's get out and get some bait. Let's get to fishing. Because, look. Where, do, where can you go to fish? Get your bait here. Go to San Luis Pass, right here on the beach. Go down to Gavin State, uh, State Park and get your kayak in. Guys, this place is awesome. Come check them out. Thank you. Yes, please do. We're ready. We're ready. <laughs> We're here with Carlos, Texas Surf Masters. Carlos, Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, too. What a beautiful morning. Oh, my gosh. Huh? Great. <laughs> we ought to be fishing, but we're not, right? Right, right, uh, right. You're here because you you actually got some of the stuff that you're going to be displaying here at Bay Daddy's. Absolutely. Yeah, we're uh, we're kind of scattered all the way the, uh, the along the Texas coast, all the way to South Padre. We've got a bunch of our... Uh, bait, bait and tackle stores that, that carry our stuff. They carry your products. Right, 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 right. All right, Carlos. Let's look at some of the things that you, you actually sell. I mean, you, this is some pretty cool stuff. Now, is a lot of this stuff strictly for the surf, for surf fishing? Uh, a lot of it is, yes, and, and uh, we, we kind of tailor uh, to the fishing, the surf fishing community. So, um, uh, I mean, some of the stuff, like some of our smaller dehookers you can use. Yeah, for what do we, show, sh let's check these out. So, to start off with, this is one of our little dehookers. I've been using this for about 20 years. It, it looks kind of simple, but uh, it, it's so easy. Just uh, especially on hard heads you, uh, and, and circle hooks, you just uh, you uh, you basically hook the hook and you flip it around, and that little that little hard head will just flop right out of there. Oh my God! So it's it's pretty easy. Instead of grabbing it, getting slimy, having the potential of, of getting stung getting and, and stung. stuff like that. Yep. So that, all right, Carlos, a little bit bigger one. So these, this is our, our bigger brother of, of that uh, small D hooker. Um, it's uh, 30 inches long, so you don't have to get close to those shark's uh, teeth. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, one thing you don't want to do. <laughs> so uh, you can hook the hook, pull it, you can push it, or you can twist it out. That way, uh, that way it's a little bit more effective on, on those uh, sharks. And, uh, so those are the only two sizes you sell? Correct, correct. We're working on a me another medium one and uh, also some uh, different uh, bait rigging needles that we have, which are just uh, along and just along and spiky. It's got a notch in here, so ah. you, you push it through your baits, you put your uh, your swivel or your loop, and you pull it through the bait, and and you're set. There you go, guys. Everything for yeah. Let me tell you what. I don't even like touch, touching hard heads, much less a shark. But <laughs> if you got to, you're all hooked up. Now, also, what else do you got here, um, Carlos? You got some other stuff items so here. So our our groundbreaker was our, our rod our rod holders. I've been using these for over 20 years, and uh, I've never had a problem with them. These um, are nice. So so we we started uh, producing them. 
and a lot of guys love them. They're, what they're, I like, Carlos, is how tall it is. Yeah, it's a five foot, five foot. Uh, so you usually go about a foot, maybe a foot and a half, and it's a solid, it's a solid uh, sand spike. This is awesome. Right. Man, I'm telling you, what what caught my eye on this was not just the cool colors, but was how light this guy is. Right. Man. Tell us about this rod. So these are uh, Steadfast Blanks. Um, we use them exclusively for all our builds. Um, we've got different, uh, all kinds of different uh, colors and, and configurations, but uh, this is this is a, a heavy duty one, and it's uh, like I said, it's it's stout. And um, if you're looking for for big sharks, for for monster sharks, these are the ones That's you the want. One and you they want. are they are super light. They are light. It's incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me ask you this: Is this uh, is this the top of line? Do you just sell other longer rods, or is this is basically what you got? This is uh, basically what we have. We have two different sizes. We've got a ten footer and an eight and a half footer, um, and that usually fills, uh, you know, it, it fills the the shark fishing uh, gap uh, pretty good. Uh, a lot of a lot of guys That's... use the eight and a halfs, um, and then some guys like those ten footers for yeah. for the pier or something. Right, like that. right. Love it, man. Love it, man. What else y'all got over there that you didn't actually bring? But could you? Well, so I mean, we and we actually uh, we actually build these racks, the the front cooler racks, um, all the back racks. Uh, if, if you can dream it, uh, if you come to us, you'll and say, custom. Hey, this is what I need. We'll we'll custom. We'll work with you and, and and custom build it. Or if you've got a partial build that you started in the garage or started in your backyard or something. And you just get frustrated and say, "Man, I don't have time." We can do that. We I'm just, there. We just finished one up for uh, for, for Big Lou, and uh, we help them get that process going. We we want you guys fishing. We want to get everybody out out on the water. So yeah, if a little trailer or, or, or a little build is, is is holding you up, come get Let's with get us. Let's get it. Let's get it. How do people get a hold of you, Carlos? We're on uh, Surf um, Texas Surfmasters USA.com, or we're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on. Uh, all the You're social media, yeah, out we're there. out there. It, it's it's not hard to find us. Guys, you got to come check out some of his stuff. I mean, this stuff is amazing. Some of the stuff that we could actually use. <laughs> Brother, right, it's right. good seeing you out again. Thank you. And, hey, check out his website. Check out his Facebook page and get you some of these items. Because I'm telling you, man, when you're out there fighting those beasts, that's what you need. Yep, that's it. Stay tuned for more Where's the Fish. We'll be back. Made it, Galveston State Park. Did I get that right? Galveston Island State Galveston Park. Galveston Island State Park. Y'all are back open. Y'all were closed for what, a year? How long were you closed? So we closed the beachside in August of 2019. Wow. So almost three years total we were closed on that side of the park. This side of the park on the bay side, we had some renovations happen, so it was kind of closed intermittently within those three years. But for the most part, the Bayside was open still. How cool is it now though? Are you 100% back? Yes, yes, we are 100% back um, with the park being open. There are some things that are still being updated with contractors, but it is completely usable. For what are your hours and days you're operating? So hours, so the park is open seven to 10, so 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. every single day. And the park office is typically open eight to five. Um, on the weekends, they do stay open longer to help with those campers checking in later. And who are we talking to? Oh, so my name is Taylor. I am the park interpreter here at the park. And I'm telling you, 
you, we, we were here a month ago and we just did a little, we drove around to see what, what's, what's going on. You have, if you come in, it's how much, there's a charge, right? There's a fee? Yes. Yes. So it is $5 per person, ages 13 and older. So kiddos 12 and under get in free, but anybody 13 and older, it's $5 per person. And then we also have the option of the state park pass, which is $70 for an entire year for you and up to 14 people in your vehicle. So you get into every single state park in Texas for oh, wow. a whole year for $70, which is uh, quite a bargain. Because I was going to say, if you come down and you stay, um, is it $5 each day? Or is it like I can come in and do like a three day? I'm going to be here for three days. Like I'm going, you got the RV park, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and you can pay for those three days. Yes. So when you make your reservation online, we do definitely recommend online reservations for camping because if you show up day of, there's no guarantee that there will be a spot open for you. Um, but with that online reservation, it go it, it already charges you that entrance fee. But if you have a state park pass, then those entry fees are waived. You're just paying for the campsite. Paying for the campsite. Mm -hmm. Two sides. You got the beach side and you got the bay side. Yes. We'll go to the bay side real quick. Uh, you got three little pocket parks down there, and it was kind of cool. One was for just, I guess, I don't know, you explain it real quick if you want. One was for tents, one was for RVs. What, what, are, what are they all three represent down there? Yeah, so we have um, two camping loops on this side of the park, on the bay side. I keep saying this side of the park. On the bay side of the park, we have two camping loops. One is water only, and the other is water and electric. Mm. So that water and electric site is recommended for RVs because the sites are a lot smaller, but... Definitely, you can tent camp there. Just know that it's going to be a tighter space. Yeah, and there's showers down there and restrooms, which was kind of yes. cool. Now, at the very end is where the kayaks get to go. Yes, yes. So there's parking. Now, I come in and pay my $5. I can go down there and kayak all day. Yep, yep. If you got here at 7 a.m., you paid for your $5 to come in, you could kayak until 10 p.m., when the park police officers are like, hey, it's 10 p.m. Time, the gates are closing. Time to go. <laughs> yep. Time to go. So, so you can't stay on this side then? The RVs that are down there, you can't stay the night down there? You can, yes. So you can stay the night in those two camping loops. Um, so those people, they could kayak until 3 in the morning if they wanted to. It's just the people that pay for the day Pay pass. for the day. Yes. Okay. Then we'll hit the beach real quick. If I go to the beach side, um, I saw there's little cabanas or something with like maybe pits or something you can yeah. cook and stay the weekend or what? Yeah. So on the bay, on the beach side, we have, um, I believe, oh, you're going to make me count. It was a bunch. 95 campsites oh on gosh. the beach side. Um, and 60 of those are water and electric. They all have a covered pavilion at their shelter. We also have 10 tent platforms. So if you want to camp a little fancier and camp on a platform up above the ground, and then the rest of the sites are primitive sites. So water is nearby, but not right at your site. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's all up to you. Nothing is directly on the beach, but especially those tent platforms, you can stand on that tent platform and you see the water happening. On the beach side, we also have 20 day use pavilions. So that have a picnic table and a grill and then three reservable, or sorry, three large pavilions that are for groups. So one of them, you, if you're like, oh, it's a super busy weekend, but I want to make sure that my family of 50 has a spot to picnic on the uh, right there at the park, mm -hmm. um, you can reserve one of those oh, pavilions. Cool. Cool. Yep. So all the other pavilions for picnic are first come, first serve. Galveston Island. Yes. State Park, guys, get out here. I mean, the place looks amazing. I mean, it really looks nice. Y'all keep it up. Come out in here and enjoy your weekend or a week or whatever and spend some time in Galveston. Thank you, guys. Hi, Alicia. So we thought we'd stop and check out the new renovations of the Galveston State Park. And it's $5. It's $5. We're on the bay side. And it's $5 to get in. But check this out. Our first little... Um, Curly Q here is like little camp, like a camp, like an actual camp ground. I've never seen anything like this. This is cool. You just bring your tent. I mean, just bring your tent and just kind of hang out. I guess they got showers. They got uh, everything you need right here. They're all air conditioned. Uh, you can see everybody's kind of hanging around there because it is 150 out here today. But this is how cool is this? Awesome. Let's keep going down the road and see what else they got down here at the Galveston State Park. 
right, Alicia. So stop number two uh, is the RV, little RV circle. So you had a campsite with tents. Here, I guess there's a tent over there. I guess you could do a tent here also, but it's mostly RVs and uh, travel trailers right I mean, right on the bay here, right on, right on the bay. How cool is this? Look, man, you got the kayakers out there. <laughs> Having a little trouble against that wind, but there's the kayakers. I guess you can get down there some, some way. You got a picnic area. It's not AC here, but um, I mean, five bucks. I don't see, no, there is, there's, there is a, a electrical outlets and hookups. This is cool. Let's keep going and see what else is out here at the Galveston State Park in Galveston, Texas. Are you kidding me? All right, bam, right here. Here's the end, Alicia. And it's a kayak, it's a kayak launch. You can actually bring your kayaks down here. Um, and put in. I guess you just carry them. These guys down here weight fishing, actually. Pick a whole bunch of people out there weight fishing. So you can. I guess you come in. You pay you five dollars. You come down here. You got a little place to cook if you want to cook. It's got a cupboard, fish cleaning table. How crazy, crazy is this? Party on Park Street with Mary Jane, good cocaine, laying it down. Get on track, jump on, grab this thing Double down, 